Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This week I want to talk to you guys about my experience with otters because we all have fallen in love with the meme of the two otters holding hands in the water so they don't drift apart. But imagine my surprise when I was in Monterey Bay and saw this pregnant otter panting, struggling, in visible distress. Lisa and I had just finished filming humpback whales and orca whales feeding, which is what Monterey Bay and Moss Landing are really known for. And so walking along the dock, we were admiring some of the local sea otters that were catching mussels and then cracking them open on their chests. That's when our captain, Mike, from Sanctuary Cruises was alerted that there was a local sea otter who was in distress nearby. So we followed the story and we found the otter in the parking lot. So here's an update on what happened. We just got off of the whale watching tour with Sanctuary Cruises with Captain Mike here and we saw some otters. Um, unfortunately, we see one otter here who's been pregnant for a while. Right? And she's uh, she kind of made her way to the uh, parking lot. I'll show you her right now. Um, and she doesn't actually look too well at this point. So um, Mike, who did you call? I called, it's called SORAC and that is part of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute's uh, sea otter rescue team. And so they're pretty comfortable with this. They do a lot of this type of thing. So what they're doing right now is they're scrambling a team and they will likely be out here hopefully within the next half hour. And is the, obviously she's very pregnant, but is, does she look well right now? Like, does she look no, normal? Clearly she does not look normal. I don't believe this is even what a, a pregnant female is typically not this, this far gone. So there's clearly some issues with her. They're probably unrelated to her pregnancy but we don't know you know that they're gonna get out here and they'll take a look and assess um do you think that she might have eaten something i know there's a lot of talk yeah, about like I mean, lots so of plastic in the ocean yeah, and stuff like possible, that possible you know but i think nothing's really can be ruled out at this point this is a fairly new situation clearly the wild animal was in visible distress coming this far outside of the water and lying on the pavement was very abnormal behavior. Being an animal lover, everything in me wanted to go up to the otter and comfort it, but it's a wild animal and I know nothing about normal otter behavior, so we kept our distance not only for our safety, but also for the otters. And we called SORAC, which is a local rescue facility and rehab program specifically for sea otters in this region of California. SORAC actually tags all of the local otters and keeps track of them. This sick otter, however, did not look tagged. We came to Monterey Bay to do a story on whales feeding in this area. And what we've realized since we've been here is that the real wildlife story is the otters. They're relatively new in the area and have really changed the entire ecosystem here to the point where locals are using them as the poster boys for marketing and merchandising. Brian, the captain of Whisper Charters, told me that he has witnessed firsthand how the local sea otters have completely transformed the local ecosystem from what it looked like in the 1980s when he first moved to the area. Did you live here before the otters came in? Yeah, I first got here in the uh, in the uh, early 80s, 1980s. And what was it like here before the otters? Oh, it was a mess. It was very dirty. The water itself was a chocolate brown of suspended sediments. It was. Uh, full of algae because it was over fertilized from all the agricultural uh, runoff. Um, when the algae died, the bacteria that consumed it would suck the oxygen right out of the water and belch out methane. You can imagine what a smelly mess that oh, was. Oh yeah. Tell me why the otters are so essential to the ecosystem here. Well, it's an amazing thing about otters, but they are exceptional gardeners. Uh, they're considered a keystone species for kelp. Why does kelp and eelgrass matter to the slough? Well, it matters uh, because one, it oxygenates the water, uh, and two, because it uh, filters uh, out sediments and uh, pollution, and three, uh, because it um, uh, provides habitat for so many other species. So hundreds of other species are able to live in this area because of the otters. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, we have a mom and a little pup otter to the right. I've never seen a little pup otter before. So small, so small. He's just like hugging his mom right now. Locals of Moss Landing, like Captain Brian and Captain Mike, are very close to the nature of the area. They know the marine life. Sometimes they even know their little critter neighbors by name. 
So while we were waiting for the rescue team to arrive in the parking lot and attend to the sick otter, we actually see her pulling herself down the grass and back towards the water. Over the phone, Sorak tells us not to let the sick otter get out of our sight, but she is clearly trying to make a getaway. Over an hour later, Sorak still hadn't shown up. Apparently they were completely slammed with other rescues and rehabilitations of sea otters, so they sent a few volunteers from a local marine rescue unit. In the asphalt. Uh, you sure that's the same one? Yep, we fought, we've been following her. Uh, when the volunteers showed up, it turns out that they're not legally allowed to pluck these animals from the water. They can only collect them if they're already on land. So for today, they had to leave her. How do you feel about this, Mike? Well, I'm encouraged. Now that the animal's back in the water, it's fairly normal. Uh, clearly not normal to be having their their head laying on the cement or the asphalt in the parking lot. That yeah. was disturbing. But Over the course of the next two weeks, Captain Mike from Sanctuary Cruises sees this pregnant sea otter pull herself back into the parking lot two more times, both times escaping Sorak. On the third time, Sorak was able to collect the otter and bring her into rehabilitation. So I just got off the phone with Sorak and I told them that I was inquiring about the sea otter that Captain Mike and I had found in the parking lot. They knew right away which otter I was talking about. It turns out that they had actually tagged her when she was a pup and they lost track of her for years because her tag fell off. So in a weird way, this was her homecoming after 12 years, uh, it turns out that her inflated stomach wasn't pregnancy. It was actually due to a heart condition caused by pollution. So they were not able to save her and they decided to humanely euthanize her. It's a really sad ending to this story for this otter, but the work they're doing is absolutely incredible. And if you're interested in seeing what this rehabilitation and rehab clinic is doing in Monterey Bay at the aquarium, or you just want to see the otters for yourselves, uh, book a trip with uh, Captain Brian with Whisper Charters or Captain Mike um, in Moss Landing on Sanctuary Cruises to go see like the whales feeding. I have an awesome travel blog. I'm going to post it right here. You can check out where we went and saw the humpback whales feeding, the orcas attacking dolphins. It's such an incredible hotbed of marine life life in this area and the locals know so much. Uh, if you want to know more about where to stay, what to eat, all that kind of stuff, or even read more about the otters, I'm going to put a bunch of links below this video, not only to my blog site where I have um, everything written in an article, but also to everyone involved in this story so you can learn a little bit more. If you like this video, please press the like button. It means a lot to me. And if you want to see more travel and wildlife videos uh, from me, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my audience on here. Tell your friends, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below. Do you like my travel vlogs more, or do you like these wildlife stories more? What do you want to see uh, more of on my channel? Let me know. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks.